All right, if you guys want to learn how to inlay bow ties like this, then stay tuned for the rest of the video and I'll show you how. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to install some bow ties into a coffee table. I'm going to cut out my bow ties on my CNC. So first I need to get the thickness of the walnut and I'll use my calipers for that. So bow ties serve a structural purpose. They are used to keep cracks from spreading and getting bigger. Nowadays people mostly use them just because they like how they look and that's what I'm also doing. So there are a couple of different ways to cut out bow ties. A lot of people cut them out on the bandsaw. Here I'm using my CNC. If you don't have either, you can order them online. Some people sell them on Etsy. Here I'm using a flush trim bit to remove the tabs left on the bow ties from the CNC. So if you see all those layers on the side of the piece, that's that's from the CNC. It wasn't perfectly square, so it it cut a little different as it dropped down each time. Now I've got some extra work. I need to grab my chisel and flush that up. So these bow ties are going to be inlaid in a coffee table that I made previously. It did have some brass bow ties that were inlaid, but when I installed them they didn't turn out very clean, so I ended up pulling them out and I'd, I'm redoing them with walnut bow ties. Here are some pictures of the brass bow ties before and I had a hell of a time getting those bad boys out of there. When you install your router bit, make sure to clean out all of the sawdust out of the collet. Um, and you want to tighten it down a lot because otherwise it'll slip and the cut will get deeper as you go. And I am speaking from experience, this is not fun. When you are doing a fresh bow tie, you can usually double stick tape it to the surface or use some CA glue and then trace it that way so it doesn't move around. I couldn't do that because there were already some holes underneath them, so I used a clamp to hold it in place while I traced the outline. 
with the marking knife you want your first pass to be nice and gentle so you don't get off course and then from there you kind of dig down a little harder each pass. It's really helpful to trace your cut line. You want to make it as dark as possible because when you're routing out the waste, it, it gets hard to see where that line is. So the key when routing out the waste is to take it nice and slow. I should probably have a bigger base so I can hold on to it better. Um, but I, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. You just want to go nice and slow and, um, whoa! Ow, ow, ow. All right, I had to check my pants after that one, but I think we're okay, and let's keep routing. Normally I have a shop back hooked up to my router, but I couldn't see my lines at all, so I just had to take it off and get a little dusty. So the key here is to get as close to your line as possible without obviously going over. Um, takes a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, you can get pretty close to that line. So now I'm gonna start the chisel work, and this is the part of the project that can really make or break how your bow ties turn out. The key to getting really sharp and crispy lines is to have a really sharp chisel. I made a sharpening video if you wanna check that out. I'll put the link up in the top corner of this video. So the key here is to just go around the bow tie, taking off little bits at a time. If you take too big of a bite, you might gouge your line. Um, so you want to sneak up to that line and then when there's barely any left, pare that down right up to the line. a good idea to practice this a few times on a scrap piece and not on your final table that you've got all finished just so you kind of get the hang of it here I'm using the cat's Moses dovetail jig one of the sides or two of the sides are 90 degrees so I use that to make sure my walls are, are perfect 90 um, and if they're not 90, you want to slightly overcut it or undercut it so that the bottom is a little wider, just so that you know your bow tie will fit. Here you can see I put a little chamfer on the bottoms of the bow ties, that way if I didn't clear out any of the waste near the bottom, they'll still seat completely. So 
the belt sander will quickly flush up the bow tie. You just have to be careful because it eats a lot of material really quickly. You can see I'm tilting it back a little bit because it's kind of precarious balancing on that little piece. Um, I kind of gouge the edge of the table, but once it's all sanded, you won't see it. The bow ties turned out great. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned and I'll see you next time.